Today I'm going to maximize the amount of conventional memory on my 486 Pentium Overdrive system. We've got 16 megabytes of RAM overall. And as everyone will remember, way back in the day, there were a lot of programs that were very sensitive to the amount of available conventional memory. A lot of games demanded, some of them, quite a bit of available conventional memory space. And this could be difficult depending on what you had installed in your system. So for instance, right now, we'll check the memory configuration of our computer. And we'll see that we have a total of 521K available conventional memory. And let's see, what drivers do we have? So we've got MS-DOS, we've got DOS version, we've got HiMem, we've got a CD-ROM driver, the CommandCom driver, MSCDX, which is another CD-ROM driver. Uh, one actually drives the CD-ROM drive and the other one communicates with the system from it. And then we have a mouse driver. So, right now, like I said, 521K. Quite a few programs need more than that. There are some programs that need as much as 620K conventional memory free. So, MS-DOS did include a memory management program. Uh, you could buy third-party memory management programs, um, but MS-DOS did include MemMaker. And what MemMaker did was it tried to wedge as many of these TSRs, um, and those were drivers that stayed in memory, try to wedge as many of those in the upper memory portion as possible. So we're going to run MemMaker and we're going to continue. But instead of an express setup, I want to choose what it considers and where it puts what. So we're going to go with a custom setup. Do we use any programs that need expanded memory EMS? Now, expanded is different than extended. Some programs do need expanded memory, and for that you may need to come back in and readjust this, but there aren't that many specific games and programs from the 486 era that needed expanded memory. So we're gonna say no for now. Specify which drivers and TSRs to include in optimization, yes. Scan upper memory area aggressively, yes. Optimize for use with Windows, yes, because we will be running Windows. We'll install Windows after this. Use the monochrome region for running programs, I'm all for saying yes. Keep current memory exclusions and inclusions, yes. Move extended BIOS data area from conventional to upper memory, yes. So. I think we will accept all. And MemMaker will go ahead and check and see what we have installed. Uh, do we want to include our sound driver? Yes. And we'll include, I don't know if there's anything we won't include. Earlier, I did go ahead and delete Smart Drive from my auto exec batch. And what Smart Drive does is it's a it's a memory uh, disk caching program uh, that was used in DOS from DOS 4 through present. And I've not found it to be worth the amount of memory that it takes. All right. We'll let MemMaker check. We'll let it reboot the system. It'll reboot several times, and then we'll see where we went. Remember before we had 521K available conventional memory. And it'll do what looks like a normal boot. 
and sometimes you get more than one possible calculation and it's going to test what it thinks is the best memory configuration for our system. It'll reboot again. And then it should tell us what it thinks. Everything does appear to be working properly. So, we've gained 90, almost 98K conventional memory. Uh, the number's a little bit different than before. I said before we had 500, 521K, uh, but that's just a difference in the way that MS-DOS counts bits and bytes. So afterwards, we have 628K available. That is quite a change. Um, that should run just about any program that I can remember. Uh, to include some of the programs, I know that Ultima 7, for instance, was very sensitive to the amount of available conventional memory and expanded or extended memory. That, that, that's one that sticks in my mind for sure. So we'll go ahead and accept that. And then, let's see what we come up with as far as, and there we go. So reported 628, it winds up being 614K. Uh, we can see what drivers are in the upper memory, what are still in conventional memory. Uh, MS-DOS 6.22 that I'm using, um, and Logitech do both have what they call a cloaked mouse driver. Um, it's based on the old Helix technology mouse driver. And that was another um, upper memory TSR program hider. So right now, we're looking good. So just a quick little blurb on using MemMaker. If I were to install another program that installed a driver into memory, I would run MemMaker again. So for instance, when we do the video on using drive space, where we use the uh, disk quote unquote doubler program that will allow us to uh, basically virtually double our hard drive space. Uh, that will install another uh, memory resident driver and we'll run MemMaker on that again and see how much of that we can wedge into the upper drive space, upper memory space. All right, well, thanks for tuning in folks.